keep your head in the game, prompt from 3rd January 2023. Your character is an avid gamer who finds themselves transported to the online world they are so familiar with. Click. Brianna buries her head between her folded pillow. Click. The girl twists round and stares up at the ceiling. Click. She follows the pale light over to the desk in the leftmost corner of the room. Click. Jocelyn, for crying out loud, will you go to bed? Brianna growls at her sister. Click. Jocelyn! She shoots up and glares over at the girl who had been sitting in the PC for the last six hours. Just uh, give me ten minutes. I have to serve a dozen more customers before I'm promoted. You can play your game in the morning. It's bedtime now. Click. Ugh! Brenna jumps out of bed and charges over to her sister. Give me that! She snatches the mouse away. Hey! Justin wrestles for it back. You can play your game in the morning. I'm not finished with it yet. Let her finish. The sisters immediately halt their fighting and turn their heads towards the screen. She has 12 more customs to serve, and then she can go to bed. A simplistic 2D animated chef says from the other side of the screen. What the hell? Brianna reaches for the monitor in disbelief. Her hand is slapped away by a cartoon spatula that is quickly pulled back through the screen. Not you, her. The chef points at Jocelyn. She's the one that works for me. This can't be happening. Jocelyn can't tear her eyes away from the screen. Did you just... What do you mean this can't be happening? You read your contract, did you not? The chef folds his arms. You mean the pop-up at the beginning of the game? Yes, the one you clicked except to. You did read it, right? Y- yes. Brianna looks at her sister and sighs. Whether you read it or not, you agree to the terms and conditions, which means you finish this level now or you stay up indefinitely until you do. Jocelyn looks at her sister with a shrug. Fine, do as he says, but then it's bedtime for both of us, okay? I don't want to get told off by mum. Okay, I promise. The chef reaches out from the screen and pulls Jocelyn into the monitor so quickly she has no time to scream. What? Where am I? Hi, so we'd like a table for four, please. An animated man comes up to where Jocelyn is standing. She looks around to see a room filled with block colours, filled with dining tables with a varying number of seats. Excuse me! The man becomes more and more aggressive. Um, yes, of course, sir, right this way. Justin leads the group over to a four-seated table. Walking feels weird to her. Instead of taking one step at a time, it's choppy and more effort. But she eventually sits them down. Just as she does, two more people arrive at the door. Hurry up, Justin, we haven't got all day. The chef calls from behind the serving station. This can't be happening. Oh, it's happening. The chef clapped his hands. Now get to work. Excuse me, uh, we're ready to order. Hello, we'd like a table for two. The world was spinning around Jocelyn. How had this happened? She was trapped within the game she'd spent so much time on. She tried looking up to the wall furthest from her, but her head kept snapping back to the room she was in. On the other side of the screen, in the real world, Brianna frantically searched for a way to get her sister out. She tried smashing the keyboard, clicking the mouse, but nothing she did controlled her sister. She was in there on her own. Justin gets the hang of things fairly quickly. She is familiar with the game after all. Despite being scared and disorientated, she manages to serve ten customers with no issue, aside from some minor annoyances. Brianna pleads for her sister to get the job done. She sits on the edge of her seat, biting her nails, struggling to breathe. Just as Jocelyn gets the eleventh customer, her bedroom door is thrown wide open. What do you think you are doing? Her mother yells. It's bedtime. You have school in the morning. No, mum, don't! Brianna begs her mum as her mum charges over and flicks the switch to the computer off, just as Jocelyn's about to finish her job. Don't know me, little girl. Bed. The screen turns black and Brianna looks on in disbelief. She heads to bed defeated and waits for her mum to leave before rushing over to the PC. She switches it on and reloads the game, but to her horror, it's reset back to the level Justin hadn't finished, and her sister's avatar is nowhere to be seen.